going to turn now to the forecast, a live look over downtown Detroit, and it's heating up. Yeah, let's send it over now to meteorologist Hallie Vogel with how long this heat is going to last and if we could actually see some rain in the forecast, Hallie. I know we're not going to see much rain, but we are going to see the bigger heat. That's going to really be the headlines here in the coming days and actually probably over a week or so. So the start to July is certainly warming up. Temperatures today in the 80s. Tomorrow we start those 90 degree temperatures. We'll talk more about the July 4th holiday this weekend, of course, and not a lot of rain. So we have a couple chances, but nothing real significant that stands out. Temperature right now is 86 degrees in Howell, 85 in Ann Arbor and Jackson as well. 86 downtown Mount Clemens also at 86 degrees. So temperatures above average, plenty warm. We've had a little cloud cover as we went through the day today. Certainly those fair weather cumulus type clouds. We have low pressure on either side of us. We are situated under a big ridge of high pressure. When we see this type of pattern, it's called an omega block. It does represent the Greek letter omega. You see how it's almost like gears changing. We're, we're really stuck in this pattern. So we're just sort of turning with high pressure. Little change here in the coming days. We keep the sunshine around. We build in more heat, maybe a little more humidity going through the day on Friday. But temperatures by midnight, we're in the 70s still. It is going to be a warm night. We finally get down into the upper 60s in the city for an overnight low. So tomorrow, Thursday, we're still in check with humidity. We see a spike on Friday. That could bring an isolated shower. Again, nothing significant. And then pretty manageable humidity for the weekend into next week, despite the fact that we're going to have really warm temperatures. But there's high pressure. And when I say stuck in this pattern, yeah, it will drift a little bit as we go through the coming days. But overall, it is remaining anchored over the region, and that'll be the key feature for us, keeping us nice and dry. So temperatures tonight will drop down into the 60s overnight under a mostly clear sky. Tomorrow, our temperatures, we're starting the heat wave, 91 for a high tomorrow with very light winds, so not much of a relief as far as a breeze is concerned. We'll stay in the low 90s for Friday, Saturday, of course, the 4th of July, and then Sunday, Temperatures in the low 90s. We're talking low 90s. We're not talking, you know, 89, 90. We're talking low 90s for a good at least 10 days. It's a score.